What's up, gals and pals? It's your boy Vino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, it is February 1st, which means it is time for me to announce the Love Potion 2023 Cocktail Challenge. That's right, folks, me and my buddy Rob of Rob's Home Bar and David of Booze on the Rocks are hosting our third annual Valentine's Day Cocktail Challenge. Now remember, this challenge is open to every and anyone, whether you're a content creator or one of our subscribers or a follower, you can go ahead and enter the challenge, but there are three simple rules, all right, folks? The first rule is the cocktail must be red or pink, which is pretty obvious why that is, right? It's festive. <laughs> The second uh, rule is that you must use a chocolate garnish, right? So you, you interpret that however you want, folks, right? But you have to use a chocolate garnish. And the third rule is use the hashtag love potion 2023, right, folks? So uh, whether you're on Instagram or YouTube or TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media platform you are on, use the hashtag and uh, we'll find it and we'll share it with our community, right, folks? So I'm going to go ahead and start the festivities off. So make sure you stick around because we're about to boogie down. All right, folks, so like I said, I'm going to start things off for the Love Potion 2023 Cocktail Challenge with a little something I call the Tender Garone. <laughs> That's right, folks. All right, first of all, you can't tell it's a Negroni riff, but the real play on words here, it is an old song from my man, Bobby Brown. It was called Tender Roni. And it was a love song. And so I thought to myself, Tender Roni and Negroni, come on, that, it's, it's a perfect pairing. So I thought I'd make a little, you know, Valentine's Day theme cocktail cocktail based on my, one of my favorite cocktails and one of my favorite songs, right? Folks, so let us look at what is in the sauce, right? Now, the first thing we're going to need is one ounce of Pisco, okay? I'm using Capel Chilean Pisco. I really like this one because it has some real floral notes, which I think will go really good with the rest of these, uh, uh, these ingredients, which you will see in a moment, all right? So we're going to do one ounce of Pisco. All right. Now I'm sure this will go great with a uh, Peruvian Pisco or something like that. So that's what you have. Go ahead and use that. All right. The next thing we're going to do is three quarters an ounce of a sweet vermouth. I'm going to be using Carpano Antica. Um, you know, as you guys know, this is my go-to, my favorite vermouth, so sweet vermouth. All right. So we're going to do three quarters an ounce of Carpano Antica. Now the 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 next thing we're doing. I do 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 do. The next thing we're doing is a, a strawberry infused Campari. This stuff is incredible. I absolutely love it. I make it once a year and I, and I can't get enough of it, all right? What I'll do is I'll put a link down in the description uh, uh, to a video I made previously where I show you how to make it. It's really super duper easy to make. So we're gonna go ahead and use this, all right? So we're gonna do uh, three quarters an ounce of our strawberry infused um, Campari. This stuff is oh so darn good, all right? And then the next thing we're gonna do is a quarter ounce of some creme de cacao, right? We're gonna add some little chocolate notes to our cocktail here. Chocolate and strawberries, I mean, come on. It's a match made in heaven, folks, all right? So a quarter ounce of our creme de cacao. Now you're gonna wanna use a clear one here because you wanna try and keep the cocktail as red as possible. It's gonna come out a little maroony maybe, but uh, it's better than brown, right? <laughs> all right, and then we're gonna do uh, two to three dashes of some chocolate bitters, all right? One, two, all right? I'm gonna do two so it doesn't get too dark there, but we're gonna add a little more chocolate notes to the cocktail. And then we're gonna add some ice to our mixing glass, all right? There we go. And we're gonna stir it out for about uh, uh, 25, 30 seconds. All right, folks, so I think we stirred that up enough, and I gotta tell you, I am already getting some amazing strawberry notes right off the nose on this thing, right? Mm, nice and cold, and I can tell it's gonna be absolutely delicious, right? So let's go ahead and get our glass out. I'm gonna be serving that in a rock glass. I have a nice big rock stuck in there already. So let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna double strain this because I did not strain out my um, Campari, my infused Campari, so I wanna make sure I don't get any strawberry bits in the cocktail. Even though I wouldn't mind it, you know, I just wanna keep it nice and clear. There we go, all right, so there is it, our beautiful, delicious, tender Grone is looking good. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, folks, excellent. And then the next thing we're gonna do, we are gonna garnish this bad boy with a orange peel. 
uh, a dehydrated orange, right? And we're gonna float that on top, and then we're just gonna add our chocolate garnish right there, a little chocolate heart, because ladies and gentlemen, Valentine's Day is all about love and affection. So there we go, folks. That looks awfully delicious. Our tender grone cocktail. All right, folks, let's go ahead and give our Tender Grone uh, Love Potion 2023 cocktail a sippy sip. Happy Valentine's Day to all you ladies and fellas celebrating. Cheers. Oh, my God. What can I say? It's so freaking delicious. You know what I love about this? I'm telling you, man, you are getting those chocolate notes from the creme de cacao. The floral notes are absolutely showing through from the capel, from the uh, from the pisco, and then the strawberry from the campari is just really rounding it out. This is remarkable. Oh my God, it's just so good. And you know what's great? You still get the bitterness from the campari. It's still there. You know, the strawberry helps to tame it down a bit, but it's there. It's it's a little bit subdued, but it's still there, adding some extra complexity to the cocktail. Oh man. I gotta tell you folks, this is absolutely delicious. This is a great way to get the mood right on Valentine's Day, guys. So if you're looking for a little something to, you know, to get the engine going, try out my tender grown here, right folks? <laughs> anyway, like I said, guys, this contest is open to, this, this challenge is open to absolutely everyone. Um, so make sure you use that hashtag, uh, Love Potion 2023 and I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Um, and that's it, right, folks? So if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share it with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring. And when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.